More than 22% of COVID-19 deaths in Peel Region have come from a single long-term care home. 50 residents have now died at Camilla Care Community in Mississauga. As Kelda Ewan reports, families of those victims hope a memorial will serve as a reminder of the virus's toll within long-term care homes. It's almost like it's not real. Alan Guy and his granddaughter Riley are in mourning. Alan's mother Mary died a week ago from COVID-19. A cross in her memory is among 50 that stand outside the home. It was hard because I never got to say goodbye to her. For six weeks, I never got to see her. And I still never got to see her when she passed away. So this is as much closure as I'm going to get. He says it really hit him when the crosses were put up. I stood back afterwards and I'm thinking to myself, that's a lot of people. Innes Ingram is part of the Facebook group Families of Camilla Care that set up the memorial. It's kind of united the families. His mom, Catherine, lives on the third floor. Your hair looks, looks lovely. She has tested negative, but he's worried. More than 160 residents have contracted the virus. We as the general public get kind of desensitized to seeing numbers and statistics. This gave a visual representation to, to people that hopefully draws awareness to the seriousness of COVID. To be honest, actually, Peel Region's Interim Medical Officer of Health says steps were taken early in the outbreak. It was one of the first homes that we did broad testing in, uh, contact tracing, isolations. The reality is that COVID-19 is a, is a tenacious disease. Sienna Senior Living, the facility's parent company, says the home has enough staff and PPE and is actively retesting residents. It also says it's keeping families informed. But while he has praise for all the frontline workers, Allen says communication has been a big issue. Issue. We didn't even know she was, she was in the hospital. We had no calls whatsoever. Sometimes I feel like it's so secretive. Everyone For Ennis, the outbreak room. exposes larger systemic problems. SARS was 15 years ago, uh, so the potential for something like this happening is public knowledge, but yet it's still reaching these epic proportions. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Mississauga.